What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here. So shout to you guys that always give me dope suggestions for videos. Shout to Jaws2003 who asked for this video basically about how much it costs to raise a child in the Dominican Republic. Now, <clears throat> this is what I know about paying and what I asked three separate women on how much they pay uh, as far as child care goes and, and the expenses. So I averaged it out. I'm putting it in pesos and dollars, so pay attention, guys. This is basically a child care budget in the Dominican Republic. So first, let's start with childbirth. Of course, before you have child expenses, you gotta have the baby, right? <laughs> so childbirth is free uh, with insurance, okay? If you have insurance, it's free. Now, if you don't have insurance, this is averages now, 5,000 to 10,000 pesos natural birth, which is 80 to $170. 12,000 to 20,000 pesos for cesarean, which is basically 200 to 345 dollars. That's averages if for childbirth. That's natural and cesarean. Now, when, now with natural, I can tell you from experience, the woman and the baby are out the next morning. I think uh, Gregory Five, he was born. By the time I'm going to visit, I was picking him up. They were out the hospital like eight hours. So. And then Gregory number seven was in the hospital all of five hours, I believe it was. So it was like natural, if, as long as you're, you and the baby are healthy, they're out of the hospital. So now, that's childbirth. So let's go into milk. Obviously, the baby's got to have milk. Most of the kids drink milk until they're older. Not a big deal. It's normal in DR. I think I was drinking milk until I was about four. I don't know. Okay, so milk is about 500 to 1,700 pesos. That's about $8 to $30 U.S., Okay, so it depends on the size of the milk you buy. Some people buy just enough to last a week. Some people, like myself, buy enough to last for a couple of weeks to a month. So anywhere from 500 pesos to 1,700 pesos, which is eight to 30 US dollars. All right, so now insurance. If you go, to, if you do public insurance, which is usually the hospital only, it's free. As we know, I told you guys many a times, there's a difference in the hospital, which is free, and the medical, which is paid. You gotta, have, you gotta pay for it or have insurance. Medical is more expensive, hospital's free, but you pay for all your meds. Okay, so if you, um, for insurance, public insurance is free, you have to go to the hospital. If you have a job, you pay about a thousand pesos, because your job pays most of your insurance, that's about $20 a month. Uh, if you do not work and you want insurance, it's usually about $600 per kid, depending. That can average out. So that's about uh, 600, 600 pesos, I said dollars, excuse me, 600 pesos per kid, that's usually about $11 per kid per month if you do not have a job. Okay, so that's insurance. Uh, medicine and vitamins on average per month is about 1,500 pesos a month. A lot of kids take different medicines when they get sick or some parents just have them on vitamins early, early on. Uh, and that's about $25 US per month for medicine and vitamins on average. Uh, clothes. Also, this is on average because, you know, the kid gets bigger, needs more clothes. Clothes, usually are bought every six months, sometimes three months, but every six months, about 5,000 pesos on average. Remember, I keep saying the word on average because this is not concrete numbers. It's based on the individual, based on the child, based on you. Okay, so clothes basically bought every six months is about 5,000 pesos or $85 US on average. Babysitting. Someone always asks me about babysitting. If you do it on a daily basis, that varies based on the person. Some people don't want to watch your kid. <laughs> Some people don't want to watch your kid at all, but you want to go to the club, so you got nobody else to watch him, you're going to have to pay. But on a monthly basis, on average, it's usually 6,000 to 12,000 pesos monthly. That's about 100 US to 200 US per month on average. And it's really not based on per kid. Some people will do it per kid, but you can work out a deal all the time if you have multiple children to say, hey, I'm going to give you these three kids. I'm going to pay this much. And most people will accept it because it's basically a job and they're getting a monthly salary to babysit your kids. Now, school. School differs. They have public school, which is about 10,000 pesos a month. Uh, I'm sorry, 10,000 pesos every six months, excuse me, which is about 170 US dollars every six months. That includes the books, the uniforms, and the shoes. That's public though, okay? Um, most people send their kids to private school because for a better education, as some of us do in the States as well. Now, for private school, the price differs and it varies based on where you go to school and the type of school. Uh, case in point, I believe the international school here 
is something like six, seven hundred dollars a month. Okay, so off the top of my head, I believe that's what it is. But certain schools are very expensive, certain schools are less expensive. All right, so for private school, four thousand to fifteen thousand pesos per month. As I said, it depends on the level of the school and type of school. Uh, and that's about $68 to $250 per month. Now, with the private schools, that money does not include books, uniforms, or anything. You buy that separately. I know for a fact because I've gotten the list after paying for school or what I had to buy after the fact. And that usually averages around to about 11,000 uh, pesos, which is about 190 US dollars. So private school, uh, you pay for the school and then you still have to pay for books and uniforms and whatever else is needed as far as school supplies goes. Uh, average food per child per month, this is average, about 12,000 pesos. So you figure 200 US dollars per month per child for food. That can vary. As I said, the smaller the child, the less amount of food, but I did it to about 12,000 pesos based on my experience and my conversations with other people. Uh, toys, toys per year, 4,000 a year, 70 US dollars. I like to buy a lot of toys, so we'll see. Uh, child support. People ask me about child support. You know what? Before child support, let's get to this. Birthdays. Okay. I know some of you see these extravagant birthday parties. I love this country, but Dominicans go way too far when it comes to birthdays. Birthdays can be anywhere from 200 to 400 US dollars, I swear to God. And it's cakes, balloons, clowns, pony rides. It can get out of hand. I actually had to tell certain people, like, listen. My kid is a year old. My kid is two years old. They're not going to remember none of this. There's no point in spending $5,000 on a birthday party. But just so you know, they take kids' parties very seriously. And kids' parties always turn into grown-up parties down here. So look to spend 200 to 400 U.S. on a decent party, maybe a big party. But it's always going to have alcohol for the adults. Kids are going to go crazy. But I just throw that in there. Birthdays are very important down here. And they go a little above and beyond. Imagine uh, my sweet 16 for every birthday party. So the last thing will be about child support. Welcome to Blifo. <laughs> As I said, the last part is child support. Now, child support can be anywhere from 500 pesos to whatever the judge decides. I've seen as low as 500 pesos a week, which is eight bucks, all the way to 10,000 pesos a month, which is about 200 a month or more. So it all depends on the judgment. Now, personally, my child support is 6,000 pesos a month, which is about $105 per kid. And I also pay for school and I pay insurance. Oh, uh, well, on one, I don't pay insurance, excuse me. So my, ba my base is basically 420 per month on paper. But of course I spoil my kids so they get whatever they want. Um, but child support can vary. I've, seen, I've actually seen some people pay extravagant amounts of child support, American type child support, because that's what, the, that's what the judge decided. I don't know how that works. I know what I pay. But those that basically right now is the list of anything I could think of that kids would need in the Dominican Republic or anywhere. And that's the budget for child care in the Dominican Republic. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, post your comments on whatever I missed and whatever you think. And I'll get back to you in the next video.